welcome. Cat right here. So it is a beautiful day out here and <coughs> I have been wanting to do this video for a very long time but the weather hasn't permitted but we are doing this thing today. So I have this older house that has these pillars. We're going to be taking these bronze square pillars and wrapping them to make them look so so beautiful. And I do have a special guest for us today. I have my father here, because this is not a one person project. I need a special hand and my dad is very knowledgeable about stuff like this, so he's gonna help me. So let's get this thing done. here this is about eight and a half inches or eight and a half feet we had to buy the nine feet wraps so we measured it and we cut off this small little piece so now it'll fit you do want it a little bit below so it will have a small little give it doesn't have to be touching directly so, so now that we got these cut we're gonna take the two pieces they kind of snap together we'll hammer it with the rubber mallet and you know what Josh will probably do most of this because I'm not quite strong enough, so I'll be helping him, but he'll be doing it. Okay, now that we got these two pieces together, we're going to take those and lock them in. And then after that, it's slightly flexible. We'll put it in the position we need to do it. But let's get these snapped together. Okay, so when we cut the pillars, we cut it about a fourth of an inch lower, so it's a little bit mobile, so you can find the correct position. Okay, so we can stabilize this. We take an L bracket and we drill a hole on the top and the bottom Then we put screws in it and then it will stabilize it. And we have quite a few L brackets. So we're gonna put quite a few around the bottom and the top. Now that we got the L brackets on the top, I'm going to take the leveler, make sure this is very level, and then we'll do the L brackets on the bottom. These L brackets get into the cement, you have to have a special drill bit because the cement, as you know, is really, really tough. Then you have to have the special cement screws. So one small tip is as you're doing the cement drilling, it gets really, really hot and then it makes it not work so well. So it's a great idea to have a cup of water. After you've done it for just a minute, you dump some water on it and dip the drill bit in the water and it cools it off. And if that drill bit gets pretty hot, when you dip it into water, it kind of makes a little sizzling noise. Okay, now that we got the L brackets in, we're gonna take these two pieces, the base cap, put them around here to kind of match up together. I don't know if you can see it, but the package that we bought came with these screws, and it's really cool because the very tip of it is brown, kind of like the color of the pillars and it's very small and they are self-happy. So you do not have to drill a hole first. So as Josh is doing this, you do it on the end so it holds that tip in so it isn't a little wobbly. Okay guys, we are all done with this project. Those pillars took us multiple days, a lot more time than I thought it would, but once we got that first trial pillar in, those other ones went much, much quicker. So I really love what this added to the house, really, really affect the wonderful curb appeal. It's added to our garage doors, the shutters that we made, and next we gotta do that front door, but that is for a different day. 
So now we're just gonna clean up this mess because we're having a big party tonight. Josh is cooking us lots of food and we get to have fun by the fire. So remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.